across out to Grimsby Fish Docks this morning. Bit of a surprising place to be, just out the Grimsby Fish Market. Um, I'm across here because our yacht, our yacht from our, the charity that uh, I run with two other guys, is um, due to go sailing today with some corporate partners on. So um, the yacht's moored across here in the fish dock in Grimsby. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning now. We'll just wait till the crews get all the vessel ready. Um, the, the participants for today, various partners or potential partners that we're going to take out for a, just a three hour sail. We do a three hour sail because um, we can go out for three hours on one tide. It's either a three hours or a 12 hour. Um, you need the 12 hours so you go out on top of one tide and come back on the top of the next tide. But three hours you can just about get out. Um, have a quick sail around and then get back in on the same tide so um, we'll go across to the fish dock now hopefully I can get in and um, we'll have a look at the vessel and we'll do some videoing of the sail today it's a bit grey and overcast today and there doesn't seem to be much wind but uh, we'll see what we end up with here we are at the historic Grimsby fish docks mainly used for supply vessels and service vessels now for the uh, offshore wind farm. There's still some sailing boats, uh, fishing boats coming in here. Here's one of the supply vessels, catamaran. These literally take the crew out to service the wind farms and um, use a friction lock. These rubbers on the front here push against the bottom of the wind farm with the engine running so people can step off and climb up the ladders. It's the new industry around here. And there's our yacht. It's a 72 foot, 50 ton with a 95 foot mast. And it's an ex Cheer Blythe round the world racing yacht. Uh, 17 berth. And it's designed to go the wrong way around the world. So it's actually designed to actually sail into the wind and go the, one, the wrong way around the world. Um, the, the famous sailor Che Blythe was the first person to actually sail around the world that way non-stop. And uh, Sir Robin Knox Johnston, who's one of our patrons of our charity, was the first guy to sail around the world with the wind and the first guy to sail around the world non-stop. So there it is. This is the bow, this is the sail locker, a water tight door, two toilets, showers, sinks, or heads as they're known, the nautical, nautical term, crew cabins, two bunks in each.
is the lovely Humber. Don't throw yourself over as well, Cal, will you? Because my first thing I'll do is laugh. And then oh, I'll come good. then I'll fish you out. I, I am a rescue expert, but I have to laugh first. <laughs> laugh and get you on video, then fish you out. You'll be afraid, you best go out. 250 quid, we'll share it. That's alright. There's a few pizzas there, isn't there? Things that come out of it. Here we go, the historic fishing dock. There ends my day in the office. And there's the yacht back in Hull. Sailing across to Holland tonight for the weekend with a group of plane passengers. <laughs> 